this is the biggest result of my career. There's no question about that. You know, this was science fiction a year ago that, that you could do what we've just done. For us, antimatter is this sort of evil twin of matter. And the idea now is that matter and antimatter existed in equal quantities at the beginning of the universe, because that's what happens when we try to make them in the lab. And for some reason, we've got this universe that's only made of matter, and we don't know why. We must find the answer to that question, right? The last time we talked, we were modifying our device to try to make the next step in, in this whole process, which is making a measurement on antihydrogen. That was the whole point of trapping it at all. Just in this area, we have a, a movable device that can position things in the, the beam line. And what we're going to do is take this one off and add a new one that has a horn to shoot microwaves into the vacuum getting ready to make this thing a much better physics apparatus for actually measuring things. Physics is an observational science. You don't know anything until you've measured it. If you want to measure hydrogen, you can buy some hydrogen. If you want to measure antihydrogen, you have to make it. A lot of what we've done in the last 20 years is get all the bits and pieces of the puzzle together so that we could actually do these measurements. Actually, what I'm supposed to be doing today is, this is a pallet full of truck batteries. We use them in a, a special power supply. And my job for this week is to carry those over there and mount them in the power supply. It's very glamorous. These guys have the unfortunate job of trying to get this device ready under great pressure. We're trying to assemble a piece that we call the stick, which has a number of diagnostic stations on it. We're adding a new diagnostic station for Walter. That's and for which they're all cursing me. And Walter's our great hope for being famous again. He's a officially retired and doesn't actually need the aggravation after a long and distinguished career. I worked on ordinary hydrogen at low temperatures 30 years ago. And unfortunately, somebody remembered that. If you're around later, you can come and see how this might all look as it actually gets put together. But at the rate I'm succeeding in stripping this, <laughs> yeah. maybe tomorrow would be a better deal. And this all has to go into the machine yesterday. The soundbite question, okay, if you will, do matter and antimatter obey the same laws of physics? Okay, very, very simple, very, very elegant, but profound question. The whole idea was to make a measurement on antihydrogen. We, we think we've done that now. You got any important emails while we're talking? Uh, not the one you're looking for, no. Other important emails.